Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to have you back. Now, what's going on in the sky? It's a very interesting conjunction. Oops, it's a conjunction, it's an aspect. Yeah, it's a uh, it's very it's something very prominent. It's something which can affect us deeply in our lives. So this chart that you are seeing here is the transit chart of 31st August 2022 and as you can see Venus here is in zero degrees of Leo so Venus has uh, almost now as I'm recording this 29th but Venus has almost uh, is in Gandanta basically now, right? We know what Gandanta is. Gandanta is the last degree of a water sign and the first degree of a fire sign. So as I'm recording this now in 29, Venus is in around 29 degrees of, uh, I mean, sorry, 28 degrees of Cancer. So it is almost in Gandanta, right? So today, tomorrow, 31st, first. Yeah, so therefore this conjunction of venus and sun is a very important one if you also see what's going on mars is throwing the uh, fourth aspect right so now venus is not alone venus is also receiving the aspect of mars right so what does it mean mars is aspecting and now it, when mars aspects any conjunction what happens the Agni increases the fire increases what is fire fire is desperation fire is desire fire is a desire to control to boss over to lord over to rule to win to be the star that's what is fire right so when Mars is going to aspect Venus the fire is going to increase also Venus will be conjunct the Sun well if you see the degrees they're quite far away but still a conjunction is still valid even if the degrees are quite far although the impact is less but now what is happening two Pitta Graha planets two Agni Tattva planets uh, Sun and Mars are affecting Venus right so this is a very strange situation now inherently we know venus is a watery planet he's uh, he's jala tattva right so what is jala tattva jala tattva wants to surrender wants love devotion pampering caring nurturing mothering these are uh, traits of water right jala but now the rashi is leo which is another Rashi of uh, I mean it's a Rashi of another planet which is again Agni Tattva which is the sun again aspected by Mars but Mars is in the sign of Venus nonetheless Mars is always Mars so what happens when this planet Venus which represents water which inherently represents you know love and romance and beauty and sexuality intimacy all these things is having so much of fire influence with it what happens what happens what happens well the water dries out well what does it mean the water dries out does it mean that literally the water is evaporated well not exactly what happens when a Jala Tattva planet comes in contact with the Agni Tattva planet. What happens exactly? <clears throat> because see, the nature of the planet never changes, right? So what is Venus? Venus, wherever he is placed, whatever he is doing with whichever planet, he is always, he was, he is and he will always remain Venus. The Venus will never become Sun or Mars. So inherently, Venus will only be able to be happy if there is, you know, love, care and romance and creativity intimacy and all this otherwise venus is miserable now what does venus represent venus represents our tendency to love and to experience beauty and refineness compassion companionship intimacy 
in our own lives that is what uh, venus exactly represents uh, in transit now what happens is this planet which wants love which wants care which wants compassion will try to seek that same love through power through domination through authority through winning right so just because venus is transiting and is aspected and is conjunct by fiery planets it absolutely does not mean by any degree that venus wants power and position no absolutely doesn't but now what is happening see the the house and the conjunctions are like people and the surroundings right so imagine you are a doctor right and you are a surgeon imagine but now in, instead of being in the surgery room <laughs> you are given a laptop and you are given a challenge you know oh show me how can you do surgery with the laptop and then you were like well maybe this is the best laptop in the universe but it's not my cup of tea right so although the surgeon you as a surgeon can be very competent and very proficient in getting the surgery done for anybody but you will fail or your confidence will be low now you have not changed you have not become a IT engineer just because you have a laptop but what happens you will not be able to achieve the task you will not be able to achieve your full potential now this is a very drastic example which will never happen in reality but what i am trying to tell you is this is how planets are affected by the signs okay where they are so when venus transits leo what happens is it wants to experience love beauty com- compassion companionship through authority now that's very bizarre because how can you have companionship and authority simultaneously it it's very difficult so because if you want to feel that there is companionship then there has to be compromise right there has to be adjustments so how can how can one person claim to be the authority and still end up wanting companionship how in the universe how the hell is that possible hell or heaven <laughs> it's not possible right but how does it manifest in the reality in in our own personal lives well that depends on the horoscope so for example if you are running the dasha of planets like moon venus inherently so you are running mahadasha or antardasha primarily these two pratyantara i will not consider here it's going to be a situation where you would want to experience love romance and compassion and warmth and companionship more but although this transit is happening in a fiery sign but if inherently in your own horoscope venus and venus and moon or either moon or venus or the dasha planet so if you are running venus dasha then venus if moon dasha then moon if they are not having associations with fire planets fiery planets or fire signs then this will be under control but imagine in your birth chart you have venus in aries and your venus mahadasha is running then this is going to blow up or you have uh, moon in leo and your moon mahadasha is going on and then uh, this happens venus has entered leo then also it can blow up right and if originally in your birth chart moon and venus are placed in artha houses like the second house sixth house tenth house then there could be anger and frustration in relation to finances within your marriage or relationship but at the same time you got to understand from your own birth chart what is the energy where is the flow of the chart happening because 
imagine your chart is a very fiery chart which means the agni tatva planets like sun mars they are in digbal or your lagna lord is a fiery planet or your sign in the lagna is a fiery sign or your lagna lord is situated in a fiery rashi or your lagna lord is conjunct fiery planet then then the situation is more aggravated why because inherently you love power position name fame authority right so this same conjunction this same placement of venus in leo the same aspect of mars on venus will play out differently for everybody why because inherently everybody is different so before you jump into conclusion and try to see which will be your situation just through this transit you must do a comprehensive analysis of your entire birth chart if you do not do that you will misread this this conjunction of sun venus or any conjunction rather any aspect any transit so first see what is your horoscope indicating then you see which dashas are you running right do the planets whose dashas you are running do they show that you love control you love to be an authority you love to give too many suggestions without being asked or does it show that you can also be submissive you can also be on the receiving side right but nonetheless apart from all this there are certain things which anybody can do irrespective of the horoscope and the placements and conjunctions which can help us to uh understand and function better so one of the things that we can do is try to listen more yes i know it's very difficult <laughs> mostly people like to talk about themselves right it's a big challenge for me for maybe you or maybe your friend or your family member or maybe even your parents or your children or your spouse that they like to tell about themselves but they are not willing to hear about your side or maybe it's the other way around they are hearing but you you are not ready right so please ask yourself am i first hearing if yes uh, maybe that's great and is the other party hearing if the other party is not hearing we have to make them aware that they need to hear right and the other thing that we can do is try to see things from their perspective because see mostly what happens whenever we try to explain things to people we try to show them our perspective it's that's all nothing else right mostly it is like that but the problem with this approach is we may show them what we are seeing but are they in the same place as we are right so whenever you want to explain something to somebody you have to go down to their level and you have to explain them what is the how should they approach this rather than saying what you think is good or bad or what is right or wrong depending on your situation because your situation may be very different right but does that mean everybody is in the same a uh, privileged place like you privilege doesn't mean like you know some that you are born in some rich family but maybe you are having a good karma and you have good habits in relation to your health so you have a good health but somebody may not have maybe you have good money somebody may not have maybe you have a good education you may not have you may have a great marriage with somebody may not have right you may have lot of popularity in the society which somebody may not have so for you it may be very easy to get things done in certain areas of your life but does it mean it is the same with everybody else well absolutely not right so the biggest remedy is to listen to people for this conjunction there's no other remedy and listen not just hear uh, you have to hear and understand their point of view so you have to realign your view with their view 
because two people never see two things in the same way they never see the same thing even if they are seeing the same thing they will have a different consciousness so therefore always understand that if you want to explain something to somebody and now why why the hell am i talking of explaining something to somebody because this is a placement where you might feel the obsession to explain yourself because you are very concerned about yourself because leo is the sign of is the sign of us right who are the center of the universe right we are the center of the universe for each one of us right so you have to realize that you are not the center of the universe neither are you neither am i neither is anybody <clears throat> 